Hello there and welcome to this special video where we're going to be covering today's update of the Luminar Neo. Now the new version called 1.0.5 is out with lots of updates focusing mostly on presets and some other functionality. However, we will cover all of that in a second. Now if you've never been here before, I'm your Luminar guy based in West Sussex, England and I'm also creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now usually we run our Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained show here, however this is one off to make sure that we cover the recent updates. Also, following your questions, anytime any of the tool will update in the future, we will also post new video, making sure that all the features, all the sliders and all the functionality is covered by our videos. So now, without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. I'm here in my email and if you are owner of the Luminar Neo, you should get a similar email to me saying, here comes Neo update 1.0.5, excited. It lists some of the updates and then you can click on the read now, which will bring us to the website of a Skyloom and a home place of Luminar Neo. And there is a full list of the new updates coming with this version. So let's just go through it. Luminar Neo update, um, it really focuses on presets and some other bugs, bringing some of the tools we get used to from Luminar AI, including access to preset tabs from the top menu bar. And don't worry, I will show you all of that in Luminar Neo in just a second. So let's just run through it. See all the presets built in, edits when applying it, save your edits. So we will be able to finally create our own presets, which is a big one. Use undo and redo. This is something which was really missing from the application. So I'm really happy to see it coming back. View presets using the T shortcut. That's handy and also for all of those who own our shortcut cheat sheet, we will be updating that over the next few days and we will send you the new cheat sheet. So don't worry about anything. And then use the revert on preset button. And again, I will show you how that works in a moment. Now there are some bugs fixed, uh, smoothly delete images from single image edits. I know it was kind of bugging a little bit there. So now you should be able to navigate through the library module or catalog module a little bit easier. Uh, make and undo edits without encountering the overlap discard edits button. I haven't noticed that before, but if you did, you probably know what they're talking about. Export an image via the share menu in Luminar Neo, then smoothly use mirroring in Luminar Share. Send high resolution images via the share future in iMessage. I know that there was some problem with the size of the image you could add to your email and that is now fixed. Similarly for Windows, they also focusing on the presets. I know they fixed the undo and redo button. So that's a good news for all of us. And um, again, the revert on a preset button is also fixed there. So without any further ado, uh, let's jump into Luminar Neo and let's see how all of this work. Now, when it comes to updating your Luminar Neo, you should be prompt with the updating message next time you open the application. If for some reason that doesn't happen, what you can do is open the application as usual and then head up here into the Luminar Neo panel and click on check for updates. The setup is a little bit different for Windows users. However, what you're looking for is a check for updates. Then you click on this and then it basically starts to look for the update. After that, the installation is pretty much the same as usual. You download the installation, install it, and then you relaunch your application. After that, you can follow exactly what I'm going to be showing you right now. So here we are in Luminar Neo, not that much change on the overall look of the application. However, uh, starting with the first thing, access the preset tab on the top of the screen. And as you can see, it's right here. So until now we had the catalog tab and edit tab, and now we have the presets tab right here. So I think that's quite handy because lots of people use those presets. So let's jump into it and see what's here. Now I already opened this. However, the uh, view and the screen would look a little bit like this. And from here you could apply any of the presets you already have or you purchase from Skyloom. See all of the presets built in edits when you applying them. So basically what they're saying is that when we go, for example, into the easy landscapes and we use the sunset option here, and again, it takes a moment to apply it. However, when it applies it, we can go into the edit module and then go into the edits. And there you can see all the edits this preset use. So I think that's really cool because you can go in and you can tweak them around and work with the presets much further than what it does uh, at the beginning of the edit. 
Moving to that, save your edits. So now you can save your own edits and very basically uh, create your own presets. So let's go to the catalog and inside of the catalog, let's say we're gonna use this image right here and we will go into our edit module. And what can we do here? We go into the tools, we go into the landscape, maybe we add a little bit of golden hour. Maybe we make the water a little bit more um, as a cyan, so maybe something like this and this, and we can push the orange a little bit, almost creating something like the orange uh, cyan look. So we have something like this. This was before and after, and until now that would be it. You would have to recreate it on every image unless you copy and paste the effect. And now we can jump into the presets, which by the way, you can bring on by hitting the T on your keyboard. So you have a T on key your keyboard for the presets and E for the edit module. So now you can move between E and T and now you're in a presets. So now we have our edit save. And what you need to do is to go down here on your screen, click on actions and click on save as presets. Then it simply just appear on this side of your screen. You just change the name of it. So let's say orange and teal and you just click enter and that's that. So we have that saved. We can go back to our presets and by doing that, you will get this little folder here appearing. It only appears here after you create the first preset. So if you can't see, don't get alarmed. It's because you haven't created any preset and the preset and saving of the preset is a little bit hidden in the top or in the bottom of your screen right here. Now you can also revert to original from here. So you can just click on revert to original which will basically take any edits away. However, then you can go back to my presets, click on your orange and teal, and it takes a second and it applies it like this. And to finish the list of the updates, we need to look at the undo and redo function. Now it's something that was definitely missing in the application and I was very excited to see it coming. However, if I have to be honest, I haven't really managed to make it work properly. So I would really like to hear from you how you guys seeing it, if it's working for you, I would really like to know because for me, sometimes the application crashes after I use it, sometimes it works and then there are other moments and other situations where it's not even possible to use it it's actually just grayed out in the application and you cannot use the undo and redo so so far i'm a little bit puzzled by it and i would love to hear from you to see how it's working for you and if you figure out the situation when to use it and when not so there you have it. That's all the updates for this version of Luminar Neo, the 1.0.5. I think it's exciting. I'm very excited about the presets, about some of the fixes of the bugs that were there. However, of course, there should be much more coming other way. So for today, that's it for this video. Of course, we keep coming with our Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained. So thank you very much for watching that and for joining us every day for the new episodes. And thank you for joining our community here on YouTube. Folks, uh, take care, stay safe, have a lovely rest of the day, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.